Okay, so on today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you how to add um, more games to the uh, PlayStation Classic, which is a PlayStation Mini. Um, this is done through AutoBleam. Um, this pack will also come with RetroArch. So I'm going to leave this link in the description in the GitHub page. Um, just scroll down to AutoBleam. Um, 0.7.1 ultimate and then go under the retro boot uh, you download the zip file now I'll show you what it's going to look like once you unzip it so here it is unzipped comes with all these files um, the games folder is where you you add your uh, PlayStation 1 games um, the ROMs folder is where you add your uh, retro console games and it also comes with retro arch um, with all the cores comes with a whole bunch of cores um, this also allows you to play the uh, Sega Dreamcast games if you have the right BIOS file and um, some N64 games. Now they don't run very well, but you can run some of them as well. Um, now I'm going to show you what my um, USB stick is going to look like. Um, it must be formatted in um, FAT32, and you got to rename it to Sony with all capital letters. So mine is Sony, the E drive. Uh, mine's a SanDisk uh, 128 gigabyte. So this is what my USB looks like. So games. Um, I just added one game. Marvel vs. Capcom. Clash of Superheroes. So um, this will be the bin and queue files. So just drag them onto this folder. And then under ROMs. Um, I made a folder for each system, so I got 13 systems. This this does a lot more, but these are the ones I focus on. Um, like I said, the N64 and the Sega Dreamcast don't run very well, but you can test them out. So um, for the Dreamcast games, um, I just added the CDI um, file games, so I got Daytona USA there. Um, you got to go under system, BIOS, and this is where you put the um, BIOS files for the uh, Dreamcast or else it's not going to work. So keep that in mind. You can just uh, look for them online. They're easy to find. Um, so that's basically it for the computer side of things. So just copy all the files over to your USB stick. Um, now we'll get over on the uh, PlayStation Classic. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now over on your uh, PlayStation Classic. Um, take your USB stick. Mine is a SanDisk uh, 2.0, 128 gigabyte. Uh, plug it into the second port of the USB on the system. And then take your power cord. Uh, plug it into the back. Just like that. Wait until the uh, orange light appears. Um, then just power it on. And it should load uh, right into the um, auto bleam of firmware. This should happen automatically. There you go. So you got auto bleam. Um, so for the native games, um, if you press start, it'll take you into this menu where the PlayStation 1 games are. So these are the 20 that come with it. And then I added the one, which is Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, 
Now to go back, um, press circle. For the retro arch, you gotta press the square button on the controller. It'll take you into retro arch, and this is where you can play all your uh, retro games. Um, I've already tra uh, changed the interface on it. Um, it'll come in a red uh, background. I changed it to black. For me, it's a lot easier to see. Um, so basically, these are all the PS1 games, the native games, and then this is the one game I added. And then uh, if you want to scan your directory, you just go here, scan directory, and it'll it'll um, scan each directory for each uh, system for the retro games. I'm not going to do that. It takes uh, like quite a while to do. Um, so these are some of the games I already tried out for different systems. Um, if you want to load up a game, uh, you can just go load core or load content. So you can go to load content, uh, go to start directory, which uh, brings you into your USB stick. And there you go. Here's all my folders for the uh, retro games. So Dreamcast, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, N64, Nintendo, Sega 32X, Sega CD, Sega Game Gear, Genesis, Sega Masters, Super Nintendo, and TurboGrafx-16. Now you can go into the folder and play the game. Um, let's just pick an NES game. Uh, so I got basically the whole set. Um, let's pick uh, Batman Returns. Press X. Now you got to pick the core. Um, Quick NES is a good one. I haven't tried all the cores, but I think most of them do work. So just press X on the quick NES and it should, should load right up. There you go. Every game works perfectly. There's no issues. There you go. Press the reset button. Takes you back into this. Close content. Um, let's load a, I'm going to try to load, um, a Sega Dreamcast game so you can see how it is. Press X, run. You got to make sure you, well, there you go. Yeah. So it starts off pretty good, but once you get playing, it has a lot of lag. So this is just for demonstration purposes. And there's no thumbstick on the controller, so you can't really uh, play too many of the N64 games and the Sega Dreamcast games. So I'm just showing you that this does work. There you go, very laggy, as you can see. Now let's go back. Um, we'll start um, an N64 game as well, quickly. Um, so we'll do GoldenEye, press X, run. This one's got a little, a little bit of lag as well. So there you go. Now to go back to Auto Bleem, you just go quit Retro Arch. And it takes you back to the auto bleed. Um, so that's basically it for this video. Um, I think this is the easiest method to um, add uh, new games. 
into the PlayStation uh, Classic and to play some retro games. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, on to the next one.